Hello YouTube, Jeff Bosco here. Uh, forgive the weird angle. Here, I'm over here. Uh, so Rhett Scholl made a, a video the other day about um, one of the particular garage band ants. And uh, since I just made a video on a similar subject with Logic Pro and their uh, built-in um, amp simulator, I'd give it a look because the sounds he got with it were fantastic. And I must have just glazed over it because I was looking at some of the amps and I wasn't impressed by any of them. I'm just going to get right into it. Got a track pulled up here. That's a direct sound. Yeah, let's bring up Amp Designer. That <laughs> Wow, right off the bat. I can't believe I uh, skipped right over this one. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that does sound really good. And it came up, it was the first one that came up. So I don't know how I missed this. All right, so forgive my uh, amateurish guitar playing. Oh, okay, I could turn that up. All right, so um, I'll just start from zero and build it, build one of my user patches. No plugin. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this track and we're gonna do bus one, bus two, and bus three. Then we're gonna go to the mixer, grab these, highlight them, and create track. And those will show up there. Let's go back to this one. Let's to do no output for that guy. And then start feeding these into the buses. That's one thing I gotta look up, is we could, uh, can we get that to, um, that's one of the differences between um, Reaper and Logic Pro is when you set up a bus or a auxiliary out, it defaults to um, sending it to zero dB. And I like that better. So let's just mute these. All right, uh, no, let's, um, Make sure this original track is the one highlighted when you do this. And then when you click, click on that, right click on the original track, audio track to create track stack and then summing stack. And that way you create it based, you create the summing stack based on the original audio track instead of one of the buses. That's a mistake I've made. All right, let's uh, solo that one out and then let's add a amp designer. Let's make these, yeah, make this one. Doesn't need to be stereo. Put the amp designer on there. And again, that's the first one that comes up. And I want this one to be clean, no reverb. And I kind of want this one to have a little bit of beef to it. I'm just turn down the treble a little bit. Turn down the presence. Let's clip in a little bit. Doesn't need to be that loud. I'll put a um a limiter on there because it's uh hitting the hitting zero dB a little bit. That's all right. And I'm gonna move that out to the edge a little bit. And you want a um. You're gonna want a uh, ribbon mic for this because this is kind of like the the beefy sound. You could pull because uh, um, ribbon mics tend to be, you know, a little more fuller. So 
so you want to get a little more of the the low the low in there so move the the mic off to the side a little bit so it's not capturing the as much of the highs I like it I like it that's good that's good that's good all right so um gonna go over here then hit option and then just pull that there um so this is going to be the dirty channel and you're going to want more mids more presence more treble And then we're gonna want to uh, mic the cab a little differently. Let's go with a, probably want to, yeah, let's do a 57 and go right in the middle. Right in the middle, right on the cone. All right, let's uh, mix that in with the other amp. Already that has much more complexity than if you just had one, you know, one instance of, uh, of Amp Designer. And uh, we can even, um, let's get some EQ in here. Let's roll off some of the lows on the dirty channel and roll off some of the highs. It's probably too much lows. I probably rolled off too much lows. I said that wrong. Yeah. Same, you probably want to roll off some of the lows here too. Less than that. That could come down to 10K. And, and Rhett Scholl, he, uh, he did some, some EQing, but I'll do, I'll, you know, I don't tend to do too much of that until it's actually in a mix, because you never know. I mean, he's probably right about the moves he made, but I saved that to the actual mixing process. And um, on this third third one, like I said in my other video, I really like the Amplitube. Yeah, this is really what I like uh, Amplitube for. I really like their room sounds. Sound better with or without? Yeah, it sounds better with an amp. Let's uh, let's get a different amp in here. How about this one? Yeah, I think I liked a little bit of that spring reverb in there. Too much. And let's add a um, delay designer. Put it in front of the amp. That's uh, that's way too much. Tap. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, there you go. Mute. No sync. And just bring this back down to about 40. Yeah. All right, so let's put a uh, let's put a limiter on here. Limiter on. Again, forgive my terrible guitar playing. I'm not, <laughs> I don't consider myself a guitarist. I'm a drummer. All right, so I'll make that into a user patch. 
And we'll just hit save. Call this uh, Fox 30 Fender. <laughs> And I'll put this user patch down in the com uh, down in the description. And uh, you could use it yourself. And yeah, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.